guys get really close to them. Wow. I'm dumb close. Look, let me show you. Okay, he might let me actually touch him. Let's see. I don't recommend you ever try this at home. Obviously, it's a wild animal. Oh, no, he won't. All right, Mr. Iguana. Touche. Touche to you. Look at him. He's... Oh, whoa. <laughs> These iguanas never learn. They always think they're alpha. FX Air Guns, thank you so much for sending us this. We've got the FX Pantera Compact. That's massive. Look at the size of that tail right there. Oh, look at the big one. Nice work, Roddy. You're getting them tired. You're getting them tired. We got a, a huge pile of iguanas right here. Just keep watching the video. That thing is um... the green light to catch any iguanas on the property. The contracts have already been signed. This is the second biggest iguana I've ever caught. Oh my gosh! Look at that iguana! He's slipping. He's slipping. Oh, my. Let's go. You guys know I'm always giving you guys tips and tricks on how to keep the yard pest free, okay? People, especially during the spring and summertime, are dealing with a lot of flies. It can definitely be a huge problem, huge problem. But real quick, I just want to show you a quick fix. That will help you out. Over here, we had a bunch of flies just in the area, okay? Like I said, these flies, they're, they're like mosquitoes. They're always hungry. Everything is hungry here in South Florida. But check this out. This trap right here, okay? Rescue disposable fly trap, add water, subtract flies, never touch bait, catch up to 20,000 flies. Okay, guys, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I set this trap 48 hours ago. Look at all the flies. Look at all the flies that it caught in 48 hours, y'all. And the flies go in on top. That's really disgusting right there. Once they go in, they cannot escape. See, they're trying to escape. They don't know what's going on. But real quick, that's just a quick fix. And now the yard is, look, it's fly free, y'all. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. But it doesn't matter about any of that stuff, y'all. I just want to bring you guys the goods and help you guys with your pests. All right. We just bagged these iguanas right here off the rocks. We're just combing the area looking for some more. They're all hanging out on these rocks right now. You got to keep your eyes peeled because they had really good camouflage. Yep, got him. Got him. Silly iguana. Let him roll it out, you know? All right. Let's go. go for the grab, Enrique. Very nice. Got him. Got him. Nice. That's the big one, or are those a bigger one? No. I seen a big one. Maybe it was this one. Oh, 
position to the key, y'all. Hey, that guy was not afraid, bro. Oh, he was about to jump. He was right about to jump. He was not he afraid. Made a, uh, just a small little move. That's why I moved the way I moved. You're not getting away from me, boy. I'll tell you that right now. I'll hold on to him. Let's get some more. Yeah, he's spicy. You got food. Big boy just swam right here. He's going somewhere. Oh, here goes another one. Nice size one. <laughs> Flipped him. Ping. One shot, one kill. I've lost a lot of weight. The long course. You saw in the picture. Nice. And he like farmer, so that's pretty cool too. Oh, yeah. But it rolls up, that's what I like about it the most. Very, very low very low so we have new we have innovations with uh the techniques with the catch poles humane method you're able to use a loop it's a lasso this is actually safer than a fishing rod there's no hook on it you and put it really thick monofilament it's like 80 to 100 pound monofilament and it's not gonna injure the animal around the neck like a wire noose that could kink Yep. It could rip the, the vinyl cover off of it and it can actually start cutting into the iguanas. This neck, is the, so. probably the, one of the most efficient, humane methods of catching iguanas. Like I said, safer than a fish on no hooks. You're simply just putting this lasso right around the animal's body and then bringing him to a safe position where you can get him. There's more down there. There's two of them. Okay, So there's one sleeping right there by that tree. Here, swing it towards us, swing it towards us. Yeah. So there's a big, oh, he's moving. So what's your name? Elena. Here, beat stick. Hey. All right, so come up over here, Elena. So we are gonna see some goannas right over here. There's a, there's a mess of them right there, actually. But when you get close, don't try to put it on them, easy. like that so I taught you a little trick right yes <laughs> you gotta walk on them. hey we're gonna have to probably dig out some of these holes you know Let's see what's in there look at this guy you see what he's doing right Nick what are they going to see what he's doing with his head Good morning, everybody. Yo, today's Christmas Eve. I don't know when you're gonna see this, but at a golf course, we're gonna be meeting one of my buddies. We're gonna be doing a little practice. But uh, check this stud out. Damn, he just woke up as well. Hey, guy, how are you doing? His eyes were closed. Let's see how close we can get to him. trying to get warm. Wow, he came to the best spot with the best sun. It's just hitting. The sun is hitting right over there. Look at that sun. He's right over here, right in the perfect spot. He's got to get warmed up. But look, look at look what he's doing. He might try to get out some. Hey, bud. I'm surprised he's letting me get this close. One, 
two, three, four feet away from him. It's incredible. Hmm. If I had my catch pole right now or my air rifle, this would not even be fair. Look at him. He's just like, eh. He's like, leave me alone. I haven't had my coffee yet. I haven't had breakfast. Get really close to him. Wow. I'm dumb close. Look, let me show you. He might let me actually touch him. Let's see. I don't recommend you ever try this at home. Obviously, it's a wild animal. Oh, no, he won't. All right, Mr. Iguana. Touche. Touche to you. Look at him, he's, oh, whoa. <laughs> These iguanas never learn. They always think they're alpha. Who knows? I'm, I'll let him think he's alpha. Do it, I know you want to bob your head. There you go, he can barely do it. <laughs> I know you think you're alpha. I'm gonna let you think you're alpha today, okay? All right. Let me see if I grab the tip of his tail though. I'm so surprised I'm this close to him. I'm literally like a foot and a half away. <laughs> Hey, even though he's dumb cold right now, and he's super groggy, he still thinks he's alpha. Look, he just flashed his dewlap. He's still trying to bob his head. Wow. Okay. All right, big boy. My, my friend is here. I got to go. We're going to go see if we can hit some golf balls in the hole. You have yourself a good day. All right. I'll warn you. I'll warn you, guys. You're back. And don't get too comfortable when you see me next time.